Right, welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, the production centers on a couple who are faced with issues directly associated with issues that have historically, currently, and will probably affect a future South Africans' race. That's uh, award winning production, Waiting for Nelson, directed by East London born and Johannesburg based actor, writer, and director Mbasa Tetsana. Now, the play f uh, places a magnifying glass on a topic that still dominates societal discourse on this day and age, the color of the next person's skin. And then the production heads to the DUT's Department of Drama and Production Studies at the Courtyard Theatre tonight at 8 o'clock. Now to tell us more, we're joined from our Durban studios by one of the actors, uh, Bradley Kabekulu. Bradley, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning to you, Lewa, and all the viewers at home. And Let's thank you talk for about me. Waiting for Nelson. Give us a brief synopsis of what the production is about. Uh, Waiting for Nelson is uh, a political satire in some sense, uh, touching on, 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 on the lives of the ordinary South Africans uh, that, uh, I mean, like in general, that are, are never mentioned on the, on the media platforms and how uh, the, the political history of this country has affected their lives personally and also plays in the intertwine of uh, relationships bridging from from uh, different races but uh, with with all the challenges that um, they, 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 they like that we are facing with based on the stereotypes that we've suffered as uh, as, as a country mm -hmm. speak to us about the cast I mean you're one of the actors who else is part of this uh, production um, right now, uh, the, the, the cast that we're working on, uh, we are a cast of uh, six, including um, Mr. Tetsana himself. He's also like uh, part of our cast with the Jobe crew. And uh, we have Nosi Pomkize, Sandile, uh, Mazibugo, and Kulega, Ulu. And then uh, Mr. Tetsana himself with the, with the, with the Jobe cast. And what's more interesting, like at this point, is that the production that we're doing tonight, like a DUT Ritz in Campus, is uh, like we'll have the Devon uh, product, like we'll have it at a Devon cast and production as well. So we'll have two shows in one night, and we will like we're planning to 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 actually see the two versions and two interpret like different interpretations of the production and have a discussion on how we uh, individually came about in putting the, 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 the play together. I'm not uh, like so sure with the, with the Devon cast as of now, but I know that it's directed by uh, Mr. Pepelo Lamini, yeah. who is doing his third year at DUT as a drama uh, student and a director. Why do you think, in your opinion, that Waiting for Nelson is still relevant in current day South Africa? Um, I, I think it's, it's, it's even more relevant based on, on the fact that, I mean, the skeletons are, are, are not out of the closet yet in some sense. And, and um, there are issues that are not, like that, that, that are, are, haven't been tackled yet. And, but the, the, I think that the most important uh, part is, is, is that the stereotypes that are still there, like, you know, between the two races, like black, uh, black and white, and all the relationships and, and, and how we relate to each other. Like, I mean, some of the stuff, I feel like they still do surface uh, in terms of uh, 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 racism or either tribalism and all, the, uh, and, 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 and all those avenues. So I feel like it's still relevant in the issues that we're tackling that no one, I mean, not everyone has gain something out of our democracy and not everyone can say that we've actually reached a point that was planned from the beginning or where we're supposed to be as a democracy. All right, so give us uh, details of tonight's performance. What time, where? Uh, tonight we are at uh, Ritz and Campus DUT um, on Steve Vigo Road, uh, Devon, next to, to, to the SABC studios and we're at the courtyard theater within the, 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 the campus. And the show starts at six. So at six o'clock, we're gonna have uh, the Devon production by uh, Mr. Spepelo Lamini, and we'll have an interval. And after the interval, 
we'll have uh, Waiting for Nelson by uh, Mr. Tetsana, the writer and director. Um, and um, there's free parking and tickets go for, 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 for 40 rand, like normal price, and 20 rand for, for, for students. All right. Uh, Bradley, thank you so much for speaking to us. Bradley Kabakulu speaking to us about uh, the production titled Waiting for Nelson, which will be staged at the DUT's Department of Drama and Production Studies at the Courtyard Theatre tonight at 6 o'clock. All right, let's take a quick ad break. We're back after this. Stay with us.